Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on in. I am Ori. We are playing some more Nordic Ashes today. One of my favorite newly discovered survival horde like roguelike type games. Uh, this game has been out in early access for quite a while. But for some reason, I just never played it. Uh, I started playing it a couple weeks ago. Really enjoy it. 1.0 release is coming out soon. So I've been kind of grinding this game as much as I could on my free time. Uh, here's my current upgrades. I'm currently up to 188 leaves, which I think is a decent upgrade over the last time we played. Uh, I started unlocking these daily challenges, so now I can use these to grind more seeds to get more leaves. But anyways, today we're going to be playing Helga and we're going to be doing a Book of Stars build. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. I think there's a lot of really cool, unique weapons. Book of Stars is really cool. It's basically going to do like a constellation and anybody that runs through it or hits the dots is going to take a lot of damage. It's pretty powerful. I'm going to put both of my ascensions into this and yeah, it, it should be fun. We're going to do we're going to go to the ones that I haven't done yet. I'm slowly moving my way through it. So we're going to be doing Nelfheim. Uh, I don't even think I've complete. I must not have completed this one yet, but we're going to run this one. Uh, we're going to do normal still because I'm not ready to do hard. And yeah, um, so let's see. Blizzard curse. Snowstorms appear from time to time and will freeze you if they reach you. Find the gaps to avoid them. What are the gaps? Okay, I need to find out what these gaps are. So you can see we're doing this star constellation spell. Um, it, it's really cool. It's it's a really, really, just really good spell. Okay, so what's this? It looks like it belongs to an ancient stat. Okay. So we need to get our three out of the... We need to get 50 kills here. Sometimes I'm not quite sure how this works because sometimes the kill meter doesn't seem to work. Um, I'm not sure what exactly determines <laughs> how the skulls go down because sometimes I'll be stuck on one skull for a while even though I feel like I've <laughs> been killing people nonstop. So let's see if it does that. And if anybody knows why, um, let me know. So I assume that just means I have to kill people in the field, but let's see. I'm sure the one time I talk about it, it's going to be fine. Oh, wait. I've heard. Hold on. See, I'm such a rookie at this game. We're going to upgrade this. I'm pretty much going to... Let's do... A re I want to get projectiles. Look at that. We almost got this up to legendary already. We could do damage and cooldown. I'm probably going to reroll this, too, because I want to get I think I want to get legendary projectiles. Yeah, there we go. OK, so once we get five, five points, we're going to. OK, who is Olga? Uh, offer your relics to Olga in exchange. You will be rewarded. Oh, I don't know what that is. Olga's blessings. Anytime you want to sell a relic you no longer need that does not belong to the character's constellation, you may offer it to Olga in exchange for a reward. Find her in the constellation panel on the bottom right corner by clicking RB. Ooh, that's new. Oh, there's, wait. Oh, so where, okay, so this is a snowstorm. Okay, so it just means I need to, okay, there's no actual gaps on the map. I just need to, I just need to avoid the storm. That's really all it means, huh? This game's so good, though. There's so much to do and so much to unlock. And all of it is relevant, too. You know, there's nothing that really feels like fluff or meaningless content in this game. It's it's super good. Let's get our ascension here, our free ascension. Uh, and then we're going to put it onto this one. Uh, I'm going to get both of these. So you can get two ascensions when you're running. So I'm going to do this one and then let's max this out. So just like that, we already have maxed out. So now I'm going to start working on like duration and getting some of the other. I guess we probably I don't know projectile speed, I guess. Maybe it makes it go through faster. Because what does this have? Um, this has duration, so that probably means how long the stars stay out there. Area means how big the star is going to be. Uh, attack, it does have attack speed and cooldown, so let's we can try to do those, too. Oh, I, I need to get her alt, too, because her alt is really good. We'll get her alt next. That's what we'll get next. Because her alt is going to... The sooner we get her alt, the better. 
Um, Cause it's gonna give you a buff every time. So every time you do it, it's gonna give you say 5% attack speed. And then every time you start using it, it stacks. And it's actually, it's pretty cool. Let's do the attraction. And then we'll do this one also. And then we'll save up for, we'll save up for that. Okay, oh, a bow, let's get this. We'll take the damage. So you can see how huge our constellation is already. What does this one do? Oh no, we're frozen. Okay, this is gonna give me, yeah, one damage. Um, for five gold, I don't know, is that worth it? Like, it, it literally just gives me one damage. I guess that's not horrible. I don't even have half the characters unlocked yet either. I've been slowly working towards it. I just recently unlocked, um, Talcor, the coin guy, and I'm still kind of, I played one game with him. I'm still kind of learning how to play him because I think you really need to have a very specific build with him in the, in the tree because his damage is based on coins and his health is based on coins. So he's a, he's an interesting character. Oh no, I walked right into that. Okay, so I think this relic that I, or this whatever, man, I walked into that one too. We need to pay attention to that. Uh, I think this thing I just picked up is going to um, pick up all the XP around me. What is this one gonna do, heal me? Oh, that gave, did that give me one heart and a blue heart? Or it just, I think it just fully healed me. All right, let's see what's over here. Um, five seconds, that's it, for one full heart. Oh, 15 seconds, just kidding. Oh, here, let's get our ultimate. Okay, so now whenever we do this, so for six and a half seconds, I'm gonna get 20 attack speed. But every time you use it, it adds a new, it adds a new buff. So it gets, it can get really powerful if you get low cooldown um, and things like that. Duration. Wait, is this a, oh no, I thought that was gonna be an item. Okay, let's go to this gold mine. Only three gold in there. Did I already pick that up or is it just slow? Oh, well, let's just do the... Oh, wait, what did that do? What did that even do? Oh, wait, that... Uh, hold on, that gave me a green heart. What? I wish they would say what these do. I don't know what all the, the little relics you pick up do. I thought this was going to pick up the XP. What does it do? I don't even know what it does, to be honest. Okay, we're going to upgrade this again, because it's going to give me a 10-second cooldown, and then it's going to be longer duration. And then I'll probably upgrade that again, to be honest. Okay, see, now I use it again. And so now for nine and a half seconds, I get 20 attack speed, 20% area, and 5% movement speed. It's really cool. Especially if we can get um, a lot of different abilities, which we'll, we'll slowly work on those. We'll get those later, though. Oh no, I saw you too late. What do the green hearts do? I don't think I've ever seen a green heart before. There's still a lot in this game I, <laughs> I haven't seen, it's crazy. So basically every time our alt comes up, I'm going to use it just so I can keep adding stacks to it. So now we get 20% attack speed, 20% area, 5% movement speed, 15% duration, 
and 10% effect probability. Man, there's nothing left on the map to, to explore anymore. It's basically just this gold mine. Might as well just hang out here. Oh yeah, walk right through my constellation. Okay, let's do... Item attraction? No. Let's do area. I want to make these stars as big and bad as possible. It's a really just, I love how just kind of unique some of these ability, abilities are, and this is one of them. I haven't really played a game that has an ability like this, so it's fun to see. It's pretty strong, too. It's a, okay, this is probably gonna, I don't know if this heals me or if this gives me a heart. Yeah, I think that healed me. Who is this? The Primal Cow? Awesome. <laughs> I have, I've never fought this guy before. Oh, no, 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 no. This is, like I said, this is my first time doing this map, so I love seeing, I love seeing who these uh, new bosses are. Okay, so do I have to dodge these? Oh, here, let's level up our ultimate again, so we'll get this maxed out. So now, it's only a 30 second cooldown, it's gonna last for 15 and a half seconds. That's gonna be super good. Okay, let's put our points into probably duration. Do we not have a cooldown on this character? Oh, uh, so let's do duration and then let's do this one that's gonna heal us all the time. And then we'll get one of these guys too. We'll get one of the one of the owls. The owls aren't the strongest, but they are... I do like them. It doesn't seem like he's taking damage from our constellation. He was sitting right in it, so I just kind of assumed that was going to kill him. There he goes. All right, he's dead. All right, let's get our ascension, and we're going to max, like I said, we're going to max out this one. So we're going to take, it's now going to deal uh, more damage. Um, that's maxed out. Let's see. So I want to kind of see what this does. Olga's Blessing. Offer Mighty Bow to Olga. You'll receive, oh, Really, that's it? Three gold and two... Uh, that doesn't really seem worth it. Only three gold, really. Hmm. Okay, which one do we want to do? Summon owls that orbit around you. Each summon will fly a bit further than the previous one, and then this one's going to shoot out feathers. Let's do, or do we want to come over here and do one of these, like the cards? Maybe doing the cards makes more of a themed build, so let's actually do that. 
Okay, so we'll take attack speed. Obtain the benefit of the past Zodiac rune. Effect probability per half heart. Or XP attraction. Let's do XP attraction. Okay, we'll do area. And then draw tarot cards from your deck. Card effects will vary from each other. And what's this one going to do? Throw cards to the nearest enemy until you draw all the cards. They will not be thrown again. Each card you throw will be 10 times bigger than the previous one. Let's do that one, probably. Okay, and then let's do area. Okay. So I think we're good. Maybe we get an owl, too. We'll see. Okay, so what's this one? This one's going to attract all the gold. This one's probably worth it because, oh, well, let's definitely take the bag of gold. That's that's like a give me. Uh, move speed 20%. Sure, that sounds really good. This one's probably worth it, right? Because attracts all the gold on the ground. Because assuming at some point there's more than seven gold on the ground that you might not be able to get. I guess it just depends if you can get the gold or not. Let's buy this stuff first and see what happens. Okay, area for the stars or damage. Oh, they're all book of stars. Cooldown. I don't want to do area just to just to make them big. Duration is good. Move speed is good. I like pretty much buying all these over here. Okay, let's buy effect probability. I don't think we have really anything with effect probability. So that one's a no-go. Let's buy damage. Okay, we'll do the Book of Stars just because that's what we're leveling up. And then what do these do? Lightning bolts fall from the sky. Adds one red heart. Attracts all the red potions. Red potions. Restores a red heart. Okay, let's do one more reroll then. Perfect. Oh, uh, yeah, that's all the cards. Let's do critical. Oh, no, wait, I wasn't going to have enough gold to buy that anyways. Dang. <laughs> Sack of gold only costs 15 gold to get 50 gold. What does this one do? Oh, that's burn the ground. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're set. We're broke. Oh, did I grab my ascension? Oh my gosh, did I not grab my ascension? <laughs> I'm such a scrub. I didn't grab my ascension. Oh man, I haven't played this game enough to to remember to do that all the time. Oh, I'm so horrible. Well, at least we got our constellation fully fully up, but we missed out on getting the on getting the card. Our cards ascend it. That's a huge blunder. I guess so. I just need to walk right into the ascension first thing. First thing, before I even look at the shop items, I get too distracted by those. Because, right, I didn't grab it. I can't ascend. I can't ascend my... Yeah, I definitely didn't grab it. Shoot. Okay, this one I think is closer. Ooh, what is this gonna do? Adds two empty red hearts, but we don't have any gold. I don't know if I want to spend my gold on that. I don't think I need it. Okay, what is our, let's see what our thing's doing now. 40% attack speed, 40% area, 15% movement speed, 30% duration, 20% effect probability, 15% damage, 60% cooldown, 40% projectile speed, and 5% critical chance. Yeah, so what's this going to do? Add a blue heart? Yeah. Okay, 
what does this one do? Oh, the fireballs. like her ultimate form. It's pretty good too. At first I didn't, the first time I played her, I was like, oh, this isn't that good. She only gets it for, she only gets, she doesn't get the power up permanently. And so I thought that was kind of weak. But once you, if you max this out, like, look at this, we get it for, it's free, we get it for 17 seconds. And then it only has a 30 second cooldown, so you, you can you can have this up a lot. 17 seconds with all those buffs is a pretty long time. And then you can even reduce the cooldown time more and all that if you build into it. Cause I think I just I think I just did it one time and was like, oh, this thing sucks. I'm not gonna keep putting points into this. But the more you do it, obviously the stronger it gets, and it just gets to really crazy levels. Cause we have what, 24 buffs with it now. You can get up to 40. Who do you think, who do you guys think, who's the most OP character in this game? I've read that Tall Car is supposed to be, the coin guy is supposed to be really strong, but then he got nerfed at some point. Uh, but I only played as him once, and I didn't really like him, to be honest. So, I don't know. Um, let's do... Let's get... Let's do like these ones. Like, oh, we can do the cards more too. I forgot we got the cards. Do a little bit of like all of these. I think I decided not to buy that. Oh yay, get frozen 10 times. <laughs> yay for us. Uh, an accidental uh, unlock. Is there one for getting frozen 11 times? Because we just got frozen 11 times now. Definitely Book of Stars. Let's do... We'll check to see what our stats are for this when we're closer to the end. I don't need to check it every time. Father of the Gods. Okay. What is he gonna do? Where is he even down here? Yeah, this guy seems similar to the tree guy, because he kind of walks me in an area here.
Dude, my my alt is still up right now. That's how long is it up for now? Oh, still seven. That that felt longer than seventeen seconds. Okay, so who's my card targeting? Does it target the closest, the nearest enemy? Okay, so I need to make sure I'm staying near the boss if I want. I want my card to target him. This guy's tough. He has those little ice patches that are hard to see on top of ice spikes and then his um trapping you in. He's almost dead though. Oh, oh I love the sound effects. Alright, what do we what are we doing here? I Yes, there we go. Get my ascension right away. I can't believe I forgot that last time. It's like the most important thing to get. Okay, cards grow over time. Or cards appear faster. Each card will fire another card in the opposite direction. I don't know what's better. I like the cards growing, but let's do the shuffler. Because I don't think I've tried that one before. Okay, then we can do... Let's max out area. We can max out attack speed. And then we can put... We're gonna put like we're gonna put one point into this just because we're not really gonna level it up, but with this it will get you know it'll get a really good buff. So let's get one level up into um So this is gonna give me 10% critical magic rune that spins around you and throws lightning bolts, tracks all the gold. That's the thunder armor. Okay, let's just buy our yeah, we'll buy a duration for sure. Okay, let's do our book of stars again. So that's what we're gonna put most of our points into. Oh, now I'm broke. Oh, I'm not quite broke yet. Um, let's see. Maybe we can get one more fiver. Yeah, five chests. Let's go. Okay, so area damage critical. It's hard. It feels like it's hard to get critical damage in this game. Um, okay, we're officially broke, right? There's nothing else we can do here. I got my ascension. Remember to get it this time. That's a lot of star power. It's hard to not leave the stars, though. Ooh, make it! No! <laughs> I tried to make it down. I wanted to get just one little layer down. It's hard. They they did a good job of making it not super noticeable. Um, it, it's definitely not... Oh, extra projectile sweet. Not the, not the greatest for this build because we already have a ton of projectiles, so adding one extra projectile isn't like that huge of a deal. But it should still be nice. Okay, let's do... I don't want to do duration. It's now, yeah, see, so now this is going to be up 20 seconds instead of 17, so we've been working on getting that buffed. Okay, so that's one extra projectile for our abilities. Okay, let's get this owl. Um, which one? Summon an owl that orbits you, or... Let's do the one that's going to orbit us. 
because I think that one will benefit a little bit more from our ultimate, I think. See, so it instantly makes the birds a little bit bigger. So what does this do? Plus five gold increases damage. Uh, I don't know if I... Okay, what does this one do? This one's gonna heal me? Should probably hold on to those. Receive adverse status effects. Man, we're getting we're getting really good at uh <laughs> at taking all these negative negative uh getting all these negative achievements. Okay, what do we want to level up now? Duration. And let's do We'll put up we'll start putting the rest of our points into our bird now. Sometimes my constellation sort of attacks off screen though, which isn't the most helpful. Oh, I think we officially have our thing maxed out too, so let's see what we get from it. I wonder, is it the same every time? So we get 100% attack speed, 100% area, 35% movement. 75% duration, 50% effect probability, 60% damage, 80% cooldown, 40% project speed, and 15% critical. That's a huge buff every every 30 seconds. Okay, did I already decide I didn't want to get these ones? This one's going to add two red hearts. I don't even have the gold to afford that, though. Go check our mine. Oh, see, I didn't even see it. On top of man, <laughs> on top of having to try to dodge the guys too. That's that's good. That's good. Good job with that one. Okay, I want to get yeah, there we go. I want to start getting the summons I think it's cool that you can re-roll the upgrades too. I I love that part of this game Final boss fight. Uh, let's see. We got six points, so let's put. Yeah, we'll put the rest into you. Five summons. Let's go. Um, can't afford anything else. What do we put our last points into? We'll do the card. Okay, so we have twenty-three gold. Okay, we'll go with, we'll keep going with Book of Stars. Cooldown. So can this get, let's see, what's the cooldown on this? 30 seconds? I don't know if that can get any lower than 30 seconds. Oh, it does, okay. Not, that wasn't like a ton, but. Okay, we're gonna do one more reroll. Oh, look at you guys, getting me some extra gold. Well, that's kind of useful. Okay, destroy that one, ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we can do damage, effect probability, or cooldown. We'll just do damage, because we're on the final boss fight. I think we'll be fine. I don't know what this this relic, or this mother jarred. Oh my goodness. That's a big mama. Oh my gosh.
Oh, and the cold still comes out. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I just need to wait for this, man. I just need to wait for my ultimate to cool down. Four seconds. Did pretty good damage on her. We're about to run out though. Man, this lasts a long time. Whoa, how did you, oh my, she went down hecka quick. I didn't even see how she went down so fast. Awesome. There we go, we conquered Niflheim. Uh, in normal mode though. <laughs> All right, and we unlocked the new realm, sweet. Okay, so let's see. Oh, Book of Stars. Yeah, look at Book of Stars. I mean, obviously, we put all our points into that, but that did a lot of damage. 720 DPS. Nothing else was even really close. But we also didn't max anything out, and we had double ascension on that. If we would have got... I don't know how much cards would have done, but we missed out on an ascension for that. Or no, we did put... We put an ascension on the cards, so our cards got one ascension at least. No? Did I not do my other ascension? Did I get my, what, wait, what? Didn't I put my ascension on something? Did I not put my, did I get the ascension coin and then not put it on something? No, we put it on card. I put it on this and I did the shuffle, right? Didn't I put it on that? I could have swore I did that. Why doesn't it show my little archive? Cause I remember we looked at the cards and I said, oh, we never did shuffle before. So let's try shuffle. But it doesn't show my little coin. Did I not do it? Oh my gosh. I don't I don't know. I hope I did. If not, then I'm I'm a big scrub at this game. Okay, anyways, we still won, so it doesn't matter. Level 103. Uh everything else, yeah. I mean we didn't really get any other types of abilities. Okay, let's go to our tree. So we got 12. What do we want to put this in? That's the thing, I don't really know what to put these things in. I guess I've kind of just been putting it in like damage stuff now. So we could do like damage, pack speed, and we're broke. Okay. Upgrades definitely come slow now. It takes 42 seed, no, 69, nice. 69 seeds to get one life. Um, I'm assuming you, you obviously get more the further you play. Like if you do the harder difficulties, you're gonna get more seeds and things like that. So, yeah, but that's going to be it. Uh, that was our constellation build. I really like it. It seems like it's OK. I don't know how well it's going to do for later game stuff, but it does seem like it's a relatively strong ability as long as the stars are aligning around you, because then it, it kills things pretty quick. Uh, I do like it, though. It's a flashy. I like builds that are flashy and look cool, and I think that one definitely looks cool. So there we go. There's more Nordic Ashes. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day.